Hi, I'm Emily Taylor. This is the final video tutorial about making the cup of tea collage quilt. So our first video went over supplies and selecting fabric. The second video talked about um, my method for making this collage quilt. And then this video is just how I finished the collage quilt. So after I have completely collaged this entire foundation panel, the gray area should be entirely covered. And then what I did is I cut away the entire shape of the dishes and the silverware, and I simply applied them to a different background. So then the other thing is, Amelia, hand me the glue, the Fabric Fusion. I recommend using the Fabric Fusion, and that will go around the entire edge, the outside edge. Just a thin bead is all you need around it, and then you'll press down on your background. Now, the background that I've created is five inch blocks, five inch squares, and so I just selected a bunch of fabric that I like that kind of works well with the pattern. Now, yellow is a really bold color to go with, but again, I wanted this to be very French looking. So then you'll just cut and start sewing just like you would a traditional quilt top with quarter inch seams. And so I've got one, two, three, four, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten by ten. And that's a really generous size quilt. If you want to make it a little bit smaller, I think you might be able to, but know that it's got to be roughly ten by ten and they are five inch squares. Alternatively, you don't have to make that pieced quilt background. The other thing you could do is what I've done on the cactus, and that's just choose a solid piece. So you can see here, this is just kind of a, a neutral gray background that has a little bit of a pattern to it. And that makes it really easy too, to just select the fabric and glue the edges of your collaged piece to this background. Now the other thing is, let me mention, uh, with the cactus, I did not cut away the background at all. So after I have it glued in order to make it um, maybe a little thinner so that quilting is not so dense, um, I did not cut away anything on this background. On this, however, I did. So I went through the process of making this um, pieced background. I glued this to it. And then I took some scissors and I cut away a lot of the pieced background so that it wouldn't be so thick. The only reason I did that is because this plate is white and the yellow, you know, the bright patterns would show through it. So you need to be careful if you don't want to have to cut things away, maybe make this plate something besides white. <laughs> um, otherwise you, you, uh, can cut away the back or you can just leave it. So I hope that makes um, sense. And then once I've got the, the collaged area glued to the pieced section, then my quilt top is ready to quilt. And with collage quilts, I always recommend dense quilting. By dense, I mean the stitch lines should be no more than a half inch uh, between each other. And preferably, I mean, I prefer more dense quilting than that. I like something that's a little more like a quarter of an inch between stitching lines, but it's entirely up to you. Just keep in mind that because everything is raw edged, it needs to be somewhat densely quilted so that everything is tacked down. Now, let me tell you about the quilting on this. This was custom quilting each. So each little element of the design is quilted differently. There's a just a random stipple here this is a radiating uh, straight stitch. There's pebble stitching in here. And then the background is a very simple diamond pattern in the background. So just know that, again, just have fun with the quilting. I love to emphasize the, the design as I'm quilting. Generally, I don't do an all over stitch. I like to have fun with the quilting. So. Um, there you have it. That's how I finished up this collage 
quilt, the cup of tea. If you're looking for the pattern, you can find it at collagequilter.com. And if you have any questions, you can always find me. Um, you can email me at emily at collagequilter.com or you can find me in the Collage Quilt Along with Emily Facebook group. And as a little teaser, our next project is gonna be this new, this little beauty, this springtime beauty that I call June. So we will be, I will be putting out some information and putting that pattern out very soon. So anyway, I hope that answers your questions. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email. Hope to hear from you. See you later.